notes receivable. There's some vocab that you got to know how to do. Um, many times when a business cannot pay their account receivable, they go to the company and say, oh, could we please roll it over into a note? And remember, a note is a legal instrument that you sign. Just like your student loans, you sign on the dotted line. And that note has terms associated with it. So the amount that you borrow is called the face amount or the principal amount. Uh, the interest is the interest rate that you're going to be paying. And then the maturity value is what are you going to pay back uh, when that note matures or when it comes due. And that maturity value, remember, is always the principal plus the interest. Um, and I always like to use R for interest, you know, like economics do. And principal is the face or the what you borrowed. So maturity value is principal plus the interest. And then you also have to figure out when is it due. So we'll talk about that as well. Now to uh, get a handle on this, we're going to use uh, exercise as a uh, way or short exercise to look at it. And it says in short exercise 8, that on August 25th, Champion Company received a 90-day 9% note um, in settlement of an account receivable. And that the amount of this note was 20000 So the face of the principal of this note was $20,000, wasn't it? The interest rate on this note was 9%. So if I wanted to figure out the maturity value, the maturity value, oh, and let's figure out first how much interest you got to pay. Well, let's see. To find interest, that's principal times rate times time. So the principal is 20,000. The interest rate was 9%. And the time is, this was a what? 90 day note. And how many days are there in a year? 365. So if I take 20,000 times 9% times 90 365ths, I will find out the amount of interest that I'll have to pay in addition to the principal when this note comes due. So that comes out to be 20,000 times 9 times 90 divided by 365. The amount of interest is $443. And 84 cents. So I rounded to the nearest cent, 4.43 and 84 cents. So when I look at my maturity value, that will be the principal, 20,000, plus the interest, 4.43 and 84 cents. So the maturity value is 20,443 dollars and 84 cents. So that's how much you'd owe on this note if you paid it on its due date. Well, now we got to figure out the due date. It said that the maturity date was 90 days after when you borrowed it. Now you borrowed it in August, didn't you? So how many days are there in August? Well, let's see. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, so that's August except for February, when it's done, has 28. Or you can use the knuckles method as well to figure out, how, now you're saying, what is she talking about? January's on a knuckle, so it has 31. February's in a valley, so it has less than 31. March is on a knuckle, April's in a valley. So can you understand how we do knuckles? Now, August has 31 days. This note was floated on the 25th, so we have six days in August. September has 30 days, so we're going to get 30 days in September. October has 31 days, so we're going to have 31 days. Now, what's our target here? We're trying to come up to 90 days. Am I getting close? Yes. So what we do for November is whatever it's going to take to get us to those that 90 days. So uh, right now 6 plus 30 plus 31 gives us, what, 67 days. So 90 minus 67 days 
means this note's going to come due on November 23rd. Isn't that great? So that's how you do maturity uh, date, maturity value, compute the interest, and figure out the face or the principal of a note.